Hello everybody, my name is Michael Cole, and for my project I was very excited to model my own Window to the Cosmos, my 12-inch Mead open truss style Dobsonian telescope. While I started working on this project at the very beginning of the quarter, as my knowledge and expertise using SolidWorks improved, I redesigned parts over and over in order to ensure efficiency and to get the correct specifications. Creating all of this required making almost 20 different parts of their own unique complexity, which resulted in over 45 mates during disassembly. I created a gear and rack for the Crayford style eyepiece to be slid in and out of, providing the focus adjustment. The main part of the telescope rotates about the base so that it can be angled between 0 and 90 degrees. Along with this, I created the platform on which the entire assembly is mounted, which can swivel 360 degrees. Creating the individual parts was very fun and not too difficult. However, when it came to the assembly, I had to tweak the design a bit in order for the truss tubes to be able to connect the head and primary sections in a circular pattern because it became a nightmare to calculate the exact angles between two cylinders at 60 degree angles and 21 inches apart. SolidWorks was not having it. The real truss tubes are made out of an aluminum material so as to be light enough for functionality, while strong enough to support the telescope's entire headpiece with minimal strain. I was very interested to see how these tubes react to the load of the headpiece when the telescope is horizontally aligned. I chose to use 1060 aluminum alloy, and after applying 130 newtons of force, roughly equivalent to all 30 pounds of the head portion, I got a max displacement of 3.83 inches, a von Mises stress at the point of fixture at 7.706, and with a yield strength of 3,999, it provides a factor of safety of nearly 520. Even this load is unreasonable as the weight of the headpiece is supported by six struts, not just the one, but it was interesting to see. Thank you so much.